Good evening, everybody. Rick Needham, not only handicapping Greyhound Racing from the Mardi, Mardi Gras Kennel Club in Florida, but also participating in the big www.bigjackpotbetting.com fall handicapping contest, gunning for a shot at a grand prize of a trip to Las Vegas. It also includes round-trip air transportation, the prize being sponsored by both Big, ba- big Jackpot Betting and Track Data Systems, and both of these organizations provide some of the best simulcasting, high-definition Internet viewing situations that I have, quite frankly, ever seen. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Mardi Gras perhaps has the largest grandstand area of any Greyhound track in North America. I've been there several times because it's in Hallandale Beach, Florida, right near Gulfstream Park. For some strange reason, Blue Law in Florida prohibits night racing at Gulfstream Park. So after the races at Gulfstream, I head over to Mardi Gras for an extended evening of exotic wagering. Post time here at Mardi Gras is 7.30 p.m. Eastern. There are just eight races on the Mardi Gras card tonight, so the action is going to come fast and furiously. The contest rules ask for participants to handicap any five races of their choice this evening. If you watch my nightly Greyhound videos on YouTube, you're probably are well aware of the fact that I use an incredible software product called Quick Dog to help me handicap Greyhound racing, which, of course, I'll be using tonight. I'll also use my top pick and my multiple entry contenders list and as my contest entry, but since I'll also be wagering on these entries myself, and especially like to play the box of exotic wagers here at Mardi Gras, I'll give you my selections for these wagering possibilities as well. Let's let's make some money tonight, as well as progress, progressing in this tournament. We did quite well last week, hitting four out of the five contest entries, and had three three big exactas and two nice trifectas for the uh, exotic wagers. Okay, my first entry will come in race number one, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a maiden event. It's maiden sprinting 550 yards. My contest entry will be entry number seven, Slatex Roddy. But will also be boxing number two, Oh Yeah Hard Drive. Number one, CRT Becky. Number three, Wrestling Rhino. Number seven, Slatex Roddy is the top pick using Quick Dog software based on three of the four possible handicapping methods, uh, topping the list using the standard knife and knife adapted systems. He's hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last four, with his time of 31.52 seconds in his last start, being the fastest time in this field's collective last start, sprinting at tonight's distance of 550 yards. Race one summary, number seven, Slatex Roddy. Tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Oya Hard Drive, number one, CRT Becky, and number three, Wrestling Reno. That's 7213 in the first from Mardi Gras. Second entry will come in race number two, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Once again, Maiden, sprinting 550 yards. My contest entry will be at the top of my list, number two, Carolina Melody. But I'll also be boxing number three, Taking Heat, number one, Hell's Pixie, and number four, Late on Monday. Number two, Carolina Melody, is the clear-cut choice to win using all four quick dog uh, analyzing possibilities as the class profile leader has hit the board in power run fashion in each of his last three starts. Race two summary, number two, Carolina Melody tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number three, Taking Heat, number one, Hell's Pixie, and number four, late on Monday, 2314 in the second from Mardi Gras. My third entry in the Big Jackpot Betting Dot com contest will come in race three, 8 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a grade D affair. These pups are sprinting 550 yards. Contest entry will be my top pick in this race, number eight, Tam Key, but I'll also be boxing number three, Jack's Bombshell, number four, Fuzzy's Rock and Roll, and number six, Magic Kwanzaa, eight, three, four, six, and the third from a Mardi Gras comments on this race like my selection in the race one opener number eight tam key scores high numbers with the knife standard and knife adapted handicapping methods is the class profile leader in this field she's hit the board in power in three of her last four outings including a blistering eight length power run win in her fourth race back comment on this past performance sheet in that race one extending lead which also indicates that she's the pace profile leader Race three summary, number eight, Tam Key, tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, Jack's Bombshell, number four, Fuzzy's Rock and Roll, and number six, Magic Kwanzaa, three, four, six, and the third. 
My fourth entry will come in race number six tonight, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a grade TB affair. Of the five races I've handicapped, the most consistent pups are in this race. They'll be sprinting 550 yards. Contenders number six, J.J.'s Carol King, who is my contest entry, but I'll also be boxing number five, Jack's Bullet, number two, Oya Payday, and number seven, Atta Girl, six, five, two, seven, and the sixth from Mardi Gras. And my final contest entry comes in the race eight, fina- uh, race eight finale tonight, eight nine fifteen p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a Grade C affair. They're racing 550 yards. Contenders number six, Stars Majesty. Number six, Speedy Petey. Number eight, Rockstar Nitro. And number seven, MK Kicky. Class profile leader in this field tonight is number three, Stars Majesty. In this entry is the top pick in all four of the Quick Dog Analysis Systems. She's hit the board in power run fashion in five of her last six, including a power run winner last time out. So from, oh, let's do the summary, number three, Stars Majesty, tops the contenders list, which also includes number six, Speedy PD, number eight, Rockstar Nitro, and number seven, MK Kiki, three, six, eight, seven, and the eighth from Mardi Gras. So from the Mardi Gras Greyhound Club in Hallandale Beach, Florida. On a Saturday evening, Rick Needham for BigJackpotBetting.com and my buddies at DayAtTheTrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.